Cherokee Nation Marshals took the plunge at Northeastern State University on Saturday, February the 20th. Because of the massive flooding along the Illinois River earlier this year, Northeastern State University played host to this year's plunge on campus. The Law Enforcement Torch Run coordinates the Polar Plunge, which is an international charity made up of law enforcement personnel who raise money and awareness for Special Olympics. The Marshals took home the Law Enforcement Award for raising $3,200 for Special Olympics. The Marshals have supported Special Olympics of Oklahoma for more than 15 years. It was my first plunge and it was very cold, but for a good cause. It's just something we like to do to get out in the community and help out and make a presence. Cherokee Nation Marshals set up in the Jimmy Zegg parking lot to wave in business for the restaurant. Kids and adults alike got a close-up look inside their special operations vehicle and even played some with the sirens. Jimmy Zegg employees wore t-shirts promoting the Special Olympics and Marshals received 5% of the tips for the day. They also held a bean dinner to raise funds for the project. Sequoia High School's Hope that's Honoring Our People's Existence Club, raised $1,250 by selling polar bears and holding a 50-50 raffle at one of the basketball games. It was so it was cool. cool. It was cool. easy. I think it, it was better cool. than last year when we were in the river. We think it's a really good cause, and we love to help out. <laughs> the Special Olympics provides year-round sports training and competitions for children and adults with intellectual disabilities to encourage fitness and opportunity, and also to demonstrate personal courage. The donations will help with the cost of room and board and equipment for local athletes at the summer games in Stillwater to be held in May. A minimum of $75 in donations is required for an individual to be allowed to plunge. A liability waiver also needed to be signed by all of the participants. Those meeting the minimum were presented with a commemorative Polar Plunge t-shirt. There was a contest for best costume and a silent auction was held for gift baskets donated by many of the Polar Plunge teams. For more information on the Polar Plunge, check out telequapolarplunge.mysook.org.